Danny, um, by-election on Thursday, uh, what are the issues you're finding out on the doorstep? Well, thank you for coming to meet me, Michael. Um, the issues on the door uh, are quite varied. There's a, a, it's a very interesting ward. Um, it's quite similar issues to Stamford East where I was formerly a elected councillor. Um, parking is a massive issue for residents as you know residents now have lots of cars and houses and the, the roads are just not built to accommodate them so there's a big issue to deal with parking and there's no quick fix and don't pretend to have the answer, all the answers but certainly a lot that we can do in terms of you know looking at the parking situation and finding spaces that we could do to resolve some of the issues. Secondly big issues with grass verges we're very lucky in Stipper Clays a lot of the avenues and the streets have got very nice grass verges between the pavements and the roads but that's not or one size doesn't fit all so what we need to do is we need to do a ward wide uh, review of the, of the grass verges see where perhaps they're no longer needed see where they can be made smaller to alleviate the parking the parking problems and congestions in the roads um, buses again um, I think there's general consensus that bus provision for the elderly residents here is lacking and there is a, there is a demand for services um, I know that's a commercial decision but again as a local councillor there, there are things we can do to to look at alleviating that problem for residents and the last thing is about youth provision you know Michael as a former youth worker um, youth provision is very important to me uh, I'd like to see the council investing in youth provision in different clays oh uh, how could I forget the issue of potholes massive massive issue not just different clays but thorough as a whole the council really needs to do more to to alleviate that problem You've gone really onto the grassroots there, etc. Um, has what the, the coalition's record and the challenges for the coalition, has anything, any of that come up? Because I'm not voting Conservative, Clothes or David Cameron and, or George Osborne, has that come up at all? I think the people of Stiff Claydus are really interested in local issues. National issues have come up, of course they would in any election, the by-election especially, is the all concentrated efforts on the candidates and the, the wards specifically. Um, so I'm not really getting a huge amount of that. Um, people really want to talk to me about local issues. But there are massive local issues that are relevant, not just for Clays, but also for Thurrock as a whole. Merge services with Barking and Dagenham is a real, real issue for residents, and there isn't the support that I think the current Labour administration thinks there is in pursuing that policy. So you just, uh, you know, because I guess when you talk about the local issues, I guess what would be... What would be different in the way you would, if you were voting as council, deal with these as opposed to Labour or UKIP? Would you, would you be, in what way would you be different from that? I think my experience puts me in a good, good stead. Um, I, as, as a former elected councillor, I know how the system works. I know how to get results for residents. I have a good working relationship with officers. And from my professional background in local government, I know how to, how to get results and how the best way to do that. You build a team. You get people to work with you. Um, and I'd seek to do that as an elected councillor for a different place. I think I'd get best deal for residents. The Barking and Dagenham thing, is it? You know, because there's a lot of councillors all across the country who share services. How share services? Uh, you know, with other councils as well, but what is the what is the real beef about that? From what you can see? Well, first of all, the, due to the tight political balance of Thurrock Council. The Labour administration doesn't have the, the, the mandate to pursue this, this policy as aggressively as they are. Uh, if you remember la November last year there was a vote in the council where the, the council decided that they didn't want to pursue this policy and yet we've still continued down this road. All I'm asking for is I'm not against most services, I'm just saying stop, take a rain check, let's look at it again and look at ways in which we can work closer with our, with our colleagues and neighbours in Essex authorities where we have more in common. I don't think there's a problem with that. It just seems to be we've got one idea with merge services, Bark and Dagenham and that's road we're going down and I'm just saying stop, pause and let's look at it. Finally, <coughs> excuse me, um, if if you don't succeed, uh, will, you, will you try again? Because uh, by the time you, you'd finished your four years, uh, last time, four or five years, you had a lot of high stock, a lot of people from both sides, you know, came, came to respect you. So you wouldn't just give up now if if you did lose? Uh, well, uh, I think, I, uh, as you've coined the phrase, I did a lot of growing up in politics and public life. I'm 25 now. I started when I was about 17, 18, got elected at 19. I've learnt a lot, I've learnt a lot and hopefully my stock it will continue to, uh, to increase, a lot like raw male shares. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'll try and continue on that track record and, um, and do my best to work across, across party lines. Danny, thank you very much.